Ah, good times. <laughs> good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to what do we call it? Scrub Squad Scotland. Scrub Squad yeah. Scotland with Until uh otherwise my friend Arumba. Noted. Say hi, Arumba. <laughs> hey there. Well, Until uh, otherwise noted, we're gonna call it that. Yeah, Tac Team Scotland is on hold. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. We're going to show you how not to play EU4 for a while. <laughs> um, so what do you think about... We, we need to rebuild our army, but at the same time, I, I do want to get one of those level 1 advisors. Uh, yeah, well, if we're not spending 5 ducats a month on supporting English rebels, then let's let's get that natural scientist. He he really he really turns my wheels. I'm going to grab okay. him. And you're saying we should get the trade guy as well? I don't know if we can afford two. We're... We're positive 1.4 ducats a month now. All right, let, let's skip the second advisor. Let's let's focus on getting our army rebuilt so we can eat the rest of Ireland. Okay, that could be a winning strategy, or at least uh, a less fail strategy. <laughs> okay, so probably need to fabricate a claim on. You already are. Okay, let's cancel military access with Connaught because we're going to attack them. Yep, as soon as we have our claim on England. Yes, and then we got to see if maybe France will help us against Connaught. The more wars we can go into together with France, the more trust we'll have. Oh, England has rivaled Castile. Brilliant. France has rivaled Austria. Okay. Y you have a lot of pop-ups on. I, I, I have a lot of those turned off. I love these pop-ups. They let me know what the world thinks about each other. That's, you know, that's one thing. Let me pause for a second. That's one thing this game desperately needs is a, um, some type of, okay, if I click on England, and I get the small pop-up, not the not the big Diplo pop-up, but just a small pop-up where you can see like one province and it shows you their, their country flag. If you right click on it, there's an option to mark this country of special interest. Mm -hmm. But if you do that, it doesn't really give you any special information. What I would love to have is when you mark a country special interest, I would love to have that country listed in the overview on the left or on the right, and then have it keep track of your Diplo relations and their opinion of you. Because a lot of times you really want to know if some nation is suddenly going to change from neutral to hostile or neutral to friendly. You want to know that. And it's, it's only like certain nations that really matter. And mm -hmm. there's no way to see that. You have to constantly just click on it and click on it and click on it and click on it. It's well, a little silly. In in the message settings, there is like a whole, a whole category for if you have a country set to interesting, if you get information about them. Yeah, whoops been lowered to let you catch up yeah you're you're having issues there it was hung up um, for a bit okay in the bottom right corner above all the like the map modes uh -huh. you know you know the button that lets you change message filter settings yes i usually click best guess every now and then to add all those countries to special interest wait um, best guess yeah there's a you best guess button yeah where's this okay Right above, like, where the little plus, not plus, it's like the arrow key would be, the button on the bottom right doesn't have a pop, a tooltip over it. It's the one that's to the right of filter messages from other countries. Filter messages from other countries. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. It gets like this little overlay pops out from the side of the screen. Mm -hmm. and then the, the top right option, best guess, if you right click it, it adds to your current selection. So every now and then you just go in and you right click the best cl best guess button and the game will add any countries that you border, any countries you're allies with, enemies with, rivaled to, whatever. Anything that it thinks that you would probably be interested right, in. Right, but, but that doesn't tell you when their opinion changes. Their opinion is like defensive, friendly, hostile, domineering, vassal. Right. Those things, I agree, you should get a pop-up about that. They should just be added to the message settings. Yeah, I would love that. But I like using that button to just automatically get a whole bunch of countries added. Instead of doing it manually. It does a pretty good job. Best guess is pretty good. Okay, we should yeah. be good on we should be good at speed two again, I think. Yeah, I think England's gonna kick our butt. Well, now we have we... we have time. We have time. Eleven years. That might have been a little presumptuous of us to join that war, but you know, it is worth a shot, right? Yeah. France piecing out so quickly was really bad for us. All right, cancel military access with Kanaan. Done. Okay, I'm gonna start rebuilding a small army. I don't want our manpower to go down too low, so I'm gonna be a little cautious. Mm. And 
one cav. I think I have, yeah, four soldiers and one cav. Okay, that should be enough for Kanakt. Uh, Munster, mm -hmm. who we gave land to for no reason at he all. Allied is, England? Is oh allied my god. With England. <laughs> oh my god. He's going to get vassaled by England. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's the thing, though. If we declare war on them right now, England won't join. Because? Because they're 900 ducats in debt. Then I think it makes sense that we do that. We already have our claim. We our have, army is have, building. We, we, yeah, we've got to take advantage of this opportunity. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. All right, I'm doing it. Are you we should sure? Cancel, we should cancel the royal marriage. No, no, because it doesn't matter. The royal marriage is a one stab hit. Oh, well, the difference is one plus one war exhaustion. Yeah. Which yeah, yeah. is a big deal because yeah, we're already yeah, yeah. at three. All right, let's do that first. Wow. I'm surprised England's so much in debt. Okay, where's our marriage? There it is. Break royal ties. Stability goes down. Prestige goes down. That's fine. Done. Sad times. It's okay. There goes our, our beautiful plus one stability. It's okay. It's oh, man. He, he hates our balls so much. Look at that. They desire the Highlands. They desire Aesir and Ulster. They're Why aggressive. does he desire the Highlands? Because he's a presumptuous little prick. Because we gave him one province. He's like, man. King Turlo the Fourth O'Brien. This guy's a moron. <laughs> we need to put him in his place. He's a one-two-two. Two. He doesn't know any better. All right. So maybe in that case, then we need military access through Connacht again. <laughs> no, because we can just declare on Connacht, and our army isn't built yet anyway. Do you think we'll be able to take both countries at the same time? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just what? got a pop-up for a royal marriage from England. That doesn't make any sense. They're but it would mean it would mean he cannot declare war on us. But we could declare war on him if we wanted to take a stability hit. Which is fine. And it protects us. But France is still guaranteeing us, aren't no, they? No, no. France broke the guarantee when we got our alliance. That's normal. Okay. But, but they're still our allies, so they'd protect us. Yes. This is so strange. Um, meanwhile, I've... we also have the Doctrine of Particular Judgment. Do you want five unrest in Lothian, or do you want two papal influence? Do we want to accelerate the Reformation or slow it down? I don't care. I don't like I mean, unrest in Lothian, though. Yeah, let's just we'll just take the papal influence. Oh. Hmm. So, yeah, the royal marriage offer from England. Why would they send that? I honestly don't know. He's definitely not big enough to offer a peaceful vassalization of us. We have too much base tax for that. They have the mission vassalize Scotland. I think this is working in our benefit then, because it means that he won't declare war for a while. How old okay. is his king? He's 28. Yeah, that gives us tons of time. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. God, this is so awkward. Oh, I got... <laughs> So you're you oh you got it as well okay so yeah, I I can I can say no let's see what happens if I say let's just for for science here let's say no oh yeah this couldn't possibly work out poorly <laughs> all right I said no and we still had the marriage okay uh, yeah. it did nothing <laughs> okay all right so shall we declare on Munster well hold on before we do that do we want to rival Denmark um they have no army and basically no navy. His allies are Gelray and Muscovy. Yeah, why not? What could go wrong? <laughs> okay. And you got then it? We will okay. embargo them real quick just so we can okay. get our two whole power projection. Hey, it adds up quick, yo. I mean, look at that. We got 0.4% global trade power. 0.2% morale of armies. That's what we were missing in that battle in Northumberland. That. We would have won, probably. <laughs> if we had that, we would we would have won. I'm po positive. All right, I'm going to declare on Munster. Oh, my God. All I can't right. believe England is in so much debt. That's a lot of debt. Did okay. you know that the word debt used to just be spelled D-E-T? No. Why did it change? Because people are idiots, and they thought that it needed to be different from the English, old English way of spelling it. Ye and so they added English. the silent... The silent B. Okay, fair enough. Which is oh, stupid. And we might it steal it. We might steal a trade ship in the Straits of Dover. It used to be so simple. Death. Come on, 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 come on. Steal, steal, steal. No, nope, destroyed one, and destroyed the other. No, no, the other one sailed away. Darn it. Yeah, I don't quite know what 
triggers something to be stolen or not. Oh, France has declared war on Mantua. That's good. All right. Oh, oh, that's right. There's a strait here. I keep forgetting. I just unmothballed the fleet to. Oh yeah. <laughs> bring him over. It's okay. We didn't repair him or anything. But. All right. How much are we doing? We're making two ducats a month off trade. Yeah, we're doing pretty well actually. I feel like we could make more if we actually had our force limit. We have three more force limit for ships. Yep. We should definitely build more trade ships. That's going to be a big focus for us, because if we can wrest control of the English Channel Trade Node, that is just a huge amount of ducats. 12.25 ducats sitting there. Oh man, Kanat only has two troops. Yep. Oh wait, oh sorry, I'm, I'm trying to look up Munster. I thought it was Munster that had two troops. Munster has three, but I'm sure he's building more. Let's get down there and kill him. He's still at three. Yeah. Alright, Elpin Collier, prove yourself. Let's get access again. Okay. There we go. Access in Connaught is good. We need good. to start fabricating a claim on... Go do it. Something. Probably go kill Cumbria. him. Kill him. There's rivers everywhere. Can't help it. Woods everywhere. Can't help it. Our general is better than his general. Oh, we don't want to suffer. We don't want to attack in. It's going to be a two penalty. He's, um, he's going to leave first. It's fine. We're going to have a two penalty, whoever the defender is. So why don't we tease him by leaving just one small troop there. Let him come attack we... it. I don't think we can make it in time. I don't think we'll be able to move fast enough to do that. That seems so risky. <laughs> Three on two with like two weeks of combat? There's no way. You got to believe, man. No, I don't believe anything after our scumbag, whatever we called it. We failed so bad. <laughs> Well, we could turn this into Save Scum Scotland. <laughs> it's true, we're not playing on Iron Man mode. <laughs> I think we should just siege down Munster, and then... And then we go to Connaught. Right? So we siege down their capital, and then we move to Connaught. Then they'll go to try to take it back. And then we move into Leinster. Alright, he's arriving on the 6th. Why don't we let him... We can siege fast, and we don't even need to fight his army. You don't want to fight his army? I don't think we need to. Because of our blockade, we can siege faster. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I'll do it your way. I mean, the advantage to your way would be that we would be able to siege both provinces at the same time, so it could be faster. But we'd lose men, and there's the chance that we could lose. Are we? St we're not even blockading. Well, whose fault is that? Oh goodness! I'm gonna blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was your fault. I said I'm gonna blame you. We got our claim on Canucks. Good. All right. Uh, let's also claim some more of England. We're just going to have to use the trade fleet because the heavies are too damn expensive. Cumbria, I choose you. Can we just sell the heavies? What no. have the heavies ever done for us? Literally, like, sell them. Can we sell them to another country? No one will buy them. I'll find someone. Okay. I'm going to find someone that will buy these damn things. All right. I'm going to send relations to Scotland. I'm sorry, not Scotland. I'm going to send relations to Sweden. He's going to be a good ally, you'll see, one of these days. I need a diplomat. Can I borrow that diplomat for a bit? And I'll put him back, Sweden? Yeah. Takes a diplomat to sell a ship. True. Uh, but I have had no luck selling ships to AIs. I don't know if they'll we, buy them. They do. Okay. Here's what you got to do. You got to go to the ledger. First, sort by people. You have to sort by treasury. They have to have money. have to have the money for it. So you find countries that have treasury, and then they have to have naval force limit. So, like, Burgundy is the first one I'm going to go try. And if we were to sell them our heavies, the answer is neutral minus that. Let's see if we can find a good price. We can sell our, our three heavies can be sold for 140 ducats. Take it. We'll buy, buy some trade ships. Or, or hold on. That's actually including the cogs. We don't want to do that. Let's see what they're worth, just the heavies. Just the heavies. If we could get their opinion. No, opinion doesn't matter. It's diplomatic reputation. We can sell three heavies for 100 ducats. Sound good to you? I think it's good. It costs us 50 to build them, but we can build them later once we have control of the trade node. 
It'll also result in 0.66 inflation. Eh, inflation's just a number. We're good. Okay. That'll save us so much money, even having the mothballed. They're damn expensive. Okay, we're making 1.2 ducats now. Uh, let and me I queue up some trade ships. One. Yeah. Yep. Take the 100 two, ducats, build like five trade ships. Three. Four. Five. There we go. I love light ships. And that'll put us one under the limit, so we can still build another trade ship. Good. So, what do you think about this? Because I've. Quill and I both agree, and I'm pretty sure maybe you will, that uh, if they made it so that heavy ships and galleys had at least some number of trade power, I would I would build them more. Yeah, definitely. Like if a heavy only had 0.5 trade value, but still some number bigger than zero, I would totally keep them around. But otherwise, I feel like it's a wasted force limit. It can be. I think it really depends on what nation you're playing, because some nations are just really, really good with heavy ships. Most nations are not. Also, Corland is going to get independent soon. Where's that? Um, just north of Brandenburg. Just north of the Teuton Teutonic Order. How do you know this? Are you just you just have pop-ups or are you just paying attention to it? I just noticed. You just uh, look around. Sweden's our ally and Sweden sailed by there and I saw the rebels. How many were there? Well, how big's the stack? Like 9k? 7k. Oh. Apparently they are old Prussian. Not the new Prussian, but the old Prussian. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why there's a distinction, but there it is. Hey, out of curiosity, what if we were to take our half of our fleet while well, we're blockading right now, but if we were to privateer in the Lubick trade node, uh -huh. we could get one whole power projection. The problem bad with privateering ass. is it comes with a lot of bad events. Yeah. And but it can also cause nations like the Hansa to declare war on you, which sucks. True. Wait, how did, how did Pomerania lose Hinterpommer? When did that happen? Wow. But you get power projection. You basically need to do privateering to get high, high numbers of power projection. How is the Teutonic Order still a thing? Usually by now, Poland has ripped them in a half. Oh my goodness. Could be, could be. I don't know if we mentioned it in the first few videos. Could be lucky nations. True. We're just We're playing, playing on. We have all the settings on normal, so there's no lucky nations. And this is, it's just downright cool. I'm just gonna say it. It's cool. The Teutonic yeah. Order has linked up their lands. That never happens. Maybe France won't be very strong. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no. I'm you made a funny, sure. Arumba. You made a funny gonna be yeah, in the no freaking way. paper well with one extra ducat uh we can actually afford another advisor i think getting that trade guy would be smart i'm gonna do I it i agree yeah you're trade hired efficiency arthur Lindsay. Is, uh, trade efficiency is really powerful because not only does it affect the trade power you have in every node but also in like so the trade power increase gives you more trade money but then it also gets multiplied against the trade income so it's mm -hmm. like a double modifier. It's really strong. Mm -hmm. I especially love being ahead of time on Diplotech. For the extra 20%. Mm -hmm. It's it's useful. So uh, we didn't uh, we never did a focus. We're completely unfocused right now. Yeah. What do you think about our first idea group? First idea group. You know, that's a good question. Where do we want to go? Do we want to focus on trade? I think would be good for money, obviously, uh, but that would that would lag our diplo tech behind, which kind of lags money behind because you can make almost just as much money just by being ahead of time, tech. right? Get the twenty percent trade efficiency. Well, I would I would hesitate to go for administrative ideas, anything that takes admin points because we're going to want to be able to increase our stability and we're going to want to be able to core stuff. So. I don't okay, know. We we can agree military is bad just because we need tactics, right? Yes, tech, definitely. Tech level four, definitely. seven, and eight. Four, six, seven, eight are too important. Okay, so either we should focus on administrative or focus on diplomacy then, because we're going to be doing one of those two idea groups. Okay. Well, next question is, do you want to colonize? That's an obvious choice here in Western Europe. It really is, but I I don't know. Um, 
five more ships joining the trade fleet. Did you send them to London or to... London, yeah. The English Channel, I mean? Mm-hmm. Good. Um, I don't know. I just... Colonization. My, my last experience with colonization was when I was playing as Songhai, and I colonized Africa, or, or sorry, South America, and then Spain just came in and just slaughtered them. It was yeah. a horrible, miserable experience. You don't like Spain? I know, I don't like Spain. Spain's, Spain's evil. They're like the Blue Blob's younger brother. Oh, wow. Uh, the Pope is winning a war against Provence. What in the world? We have another available rival. I can't see who it is, but... Oh, but indeed. Available. I hope it's England. That'd be great. Yeah, especially with our royal marriage and their domineering attitude. <laughs> I um, guess the nice thing about England is he, he's going to be Tech 3 for a while. Yeah. He's got negative 10 prestige. What a loser. So you were saying about colonization, you, you're just, you're a little salty. I am, but alternatively, it's like, what are we going to take? Well, Administrative, I love the core cost reduction. Yes. That's about it. Innovative, I love innovative, personally. If you take innovative as the first uh, thing, then it's really cool because you get the, wait, where's the cheaper ideas? No, did that move somewhere? Oh, it's it's humanist. Humanist is the new one with the cheaper ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, innovative is just three ideas, and then you get minus five tech costs for the rest of the game. Yeah, but that's not it's not as useful as you might think. Uh, the minus five tech cost, especially as a Western nation, doesn't really come up that often. Sure, uh, it does. Even even if you have tons of reductions, just look at it like this: the base cost of a technology is six uh, six hundred. Six hundred. So you're saving thirty points for every tech, and mm -hmm. there's thirty two tech levels. For each category. So that's 96 technologies. 96 oh. times 30. Speaking of technologies, we could take Admin Tech 4 right now if we want. And there goes Munster, by the way. And the Doctrine of Particular Judgment happened to us. What is that? Oh, it's just an event. So don't, don't move out just yet. Don't move out, don't move out, don't move out. Why? Because our garrison is 100 troops. Oh, good point. He could just flatten it. <laughs> Give it a couple months to get up. Um, but yeah, the plan is we're going to blockade and we're going to siege down Leinster faster than he can siege down his capital. At least that's the plan. Did you did you invest in... Uh... Go on. Why is it so much papal influence? Did, did we already spend points? No. I thought it used to be five papal influence and we have seven papal influence. Oh, we have no active cardinals. Okay. That would explain why we can't do it. Can't do what? <laughs> can't invest in the Curia. Those oh. becoming the next papal controller. Oh. Okay. We've had two events give us papal influence. We have we have enough. We could actually do it, but we have no. I haven't no played. Cardinals. I haven't played with the Curia at all in a long, long, long time. So I'm I'm a little lost on what all these like buttons are and how the cardinals work and who gets to be the Holy See. Mm -hmm. It's all strange to me. It's all French. <laughs> right now it's Austrian. Yep. So uh, So Edmund Tech 4, you think? I mean, might as well, right? If you don't want to core these provinces, yeah. I Do don't want to core these provinces. I want Edmund Tech. No, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, how much would it cost? Ulster cost like 67. Yeah, it wasn't that much. But we're only getting seven a month, so that would be like waiting a year just to core it if we tech it's up right now. 67 and 87 based on current war exhaustion. Mm-hmm. So that's 140, 154. 154 admin points to core these two. All right, so there's 980 troops in the garrison. I think that's enough. Let's pull out and we'll go siege Leinster. Doing a little shuffle. <laughs> it's like musical chairs. <laughs> now, our guy doesn't actually have siege value and you know this, right? That uh, having a leader in a siege, there's there's two dice rolls to, to potentially kill a general. One, that's just all the time, and it kind of simulates age. And then the second is based on whether they're in a battle or leading a siege. Yeah. So take them out of there. Fine. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Do you know how to? Yeah. Okay. While, while they're leading a siege? Of course. Done. Nice. I also use keyboard shortcuts. I don't know if you do. No. 
You don't I, use my mod. You're such a bastard. I'm not a keyboard fan. <laughs> I love the keyboard. You're so slow. <laughs> so Provence, yes. Provence managed to eat Avignon off the Pope. Really? Mm-hmm. Don't they start with uh And Burgundy is currently eating Baroy. I'm sorry. Barwa. Is that really how you pronounce it? Yeah. Alright. Well, I don't know. You must not have heard the timer, because I heard the I'm timer, but I was I was kinda hoping we could finish this war first. It's such a small war. I don't know if we can. It's the siege speed. How long are the ticks? Thirty days? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go to speed three. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, you know, maybe our army just wanders into the English and disappears. No, English has a marriage. Go it's England. Been known, it's been known to happen. <sighs> yeah, the ticks there. are every 30 days. He just got mm -hmm. to negative 35. We are also negative 35. We're just matching pace with him now. This little we jerk a, is sieging okay. pretty quick. We have two missions that I would probably choose from. Either improve our prestige to get the free stability. That's the best. That is or absolutely the best. Solidify paper relations is just prestige, uh -huh. but... Uh -huh. Okay. No. It, the the free stability is so good. But we, we should improve relations with the papal state, because it gives more papal influence. Sure, why not? Which is free admin points do if you, we stay Catholic. Do you plan on staying Catholic, though? I really like staying Catholic. Really? In, in this version. With the Curia, the way that it's set up right now, it's you basically get... Okay. If you have a 200 relationship with the papacy and seven active cardinals, you'll get about 15 papal influence per year. And if you spend it on nothing except for boosting stability, then basically you get a free stability point every six to seven years. That's pretty nice. So you stay at positive three stability the entire game. I like that. I'm it's down for really, that. It's really, really powerful. And then second place I would say is probably the... Uh, oh, Munster just broke the walls. Oh, goodness. We're going to have to kill that army. We'll, we'll, we'll just get lucky. <laughs> we'll be luckier than they are. Watch, we're going to breach the walls. France allied Savoy. Really? Oh, is he going to peacefully vassalize Savoy? Are you kidding me? you got to be kidding me. Oh, France, don't do this to me. <laughs> He's going to peacefully vassalize Savoy. That's just wrong. Oh, shoot. They're at 21%. They got there it. There we go. <laughs> well, at this point, I think we just do we play musical chairs again. I mean, all right. Well, why don't and because of the audio problem earlier, you didn't hear the ending. But this is it. Have a good day.